half a day. Guam is home to beautiful white sand beaches, crystal clear blue skies, and world famous sunsets. But we also have many amazing artists and over 4,000 years of culture and traditions. For nearly 50 years, the local council and arts and humanities agency has promoted cultural education for the island with the help of the National Endowment for the Arts. There has been a, a renaissance of Chamorro uh, traditional art. The, the skills that were needed for survival continued from ancient times. They were known to be masters of the ocean. Uh, their canoes were built fast enough to where they were able to let it skip off on the ocean. We're losing the, the culture in, in, in such a way that this will bring them back to who we were a long time ago. Well, there's been a wonderful revival of tomorrow ancient dance, which was actually revived in 1984 by Frank Rabone, who realized that they existed before the Spanish. Our dancers are constantly trying to do things that remind people that, yes, everybody had movement, but it's not necessary hula. Chamorro have their own dances, and it's based on uh, regional things that are from Micronesia more than from Polynesia. currently preparing to host the Festival of Pacific Arts in 2016 for the first time. Kaha is a lead agency in this event that will bring together cultural practitioners and artists from 27 Pacific Island nations. We are very excited because of the renaissance that uh, the arts have had here. Uh, our people feel that they are ready. We have a carving culture with bone, stone, wood, all kinds of carving, uh, mostly body ornamentation. We have a vibrant weaving culture. So those are some of the things that we're going to show off at VESPAC and share it with our fellow Pacific Islanders. And we feel like now we have a place. Now we are recognized as part of the Pacific and uh, less of being a U.S. mainland territory. <laughs> We in Guam wish the NEA a happy 50th anniversary and look forward to working together for generations to come.